wedge head Android. All right, as always, thanks for joining. Well, today we're gonna to be shooting some modern technology. I don't know if you've heard about it before, but there is a brand new airless basketball that they're making. And this thing costs about $2,500. And you might've heard about this. This is Wilson's new airless basketball, NBA ball. Airless ball. It's so quiet. Anyway, this thing is $2,500, so don't expect to see it everywhere anytime soon, but it is an interesting idea. Today, we're gonna to be shooting it with one of these. It's a cold steel plastic broadhead. You might be wondering, why would I use that broadhead? Well, really because this thing's plastic. I 3D printed it, so uh, we're gonna be shooting that, and then we're also gonna be shooting two working cell phones. One's an Apple, one's an Android, and we're gonna see which one stops an arrow better. And to help in that, we're gonna be using my brand new Apple Vision Pros. And if you don't know what those are, those are like $3,500 glasses. And I think maybe those will give me an edge in archery. Well, at least they're like my Timu version, I guess. Let's get after it. Let's do some destruction. All right, so we are starting off. We're gonna shoot at our 3D printed basketball using one of these cold steel plastic broadheads. They're a beast of a broadhead, but really not all that strong, but I thought we would shoot plastic with plastic today. All right, here we go. That was somewhat anticlimactic. Okay, I see it now. I was confused as to what happened, but I see it. Let me show you. This is the front of the ball. Here's the backside, and I have this here, but I don't see anything here. But actually what it is is that arrow went in right there. Barely even put a little mark right across there from that broad head. And then it kind of exploded out the back end. And uh, let's pull the arrow out and see what we got. The broad head is completely gone. Here's the arrow, ripped off two of the fletchings, but the broad head is completely gone. It snapped it clean off. All I found was one small chunk of plastic. So I don't know if the broad head is buried in my target or what exactly. Maybe I'll see with some of the slow motion. Um, but definitely going to have to do some more to finish that ball off. Maybe stick around to the end. All right, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time, and it is Apple versus Android. And I got to tell you personally, I can't stand Apple products. I'm an Android user all the way. I like Windows and Android phones. Uh, these things are just too cumbersome to navigate for me, and I really don't care for them. So we're gonna pit the two of these phones up against the wedge head broadhead, uh, and it should inflict some decent damage on both of these phones. So let's see what happens. Wedge head, Android. Dang, son. Well, we were right on the money. Blew that thing wide open. Wedge head still intact, actually ripped out of the arrow itself. But man, put a nice smoking hole in that thing. All right, let's do this. We got it. All right, this time we went up near the top. Arrow went all the way through. 
you know safety is really important. Safety is priority number three. So we're going to use the brand new Apple Vision Pros to protect these eyeballs. Measuring it up. Here we go. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time.